Hey guys, Jerry Keys here today, and I'm here to talk to you guys about five easy ways a beginner can actually get started on their fitness journey, um, get started getting fitness, um, getting healthy, all those different things like that that they might want. Um, the first thing, guys, is setting a goal. Um, basically, that goes a lot further than just saying, oh, I want to do something, or oh, I want to lose you know, 10 pounds or X, Y, Z. Um, basically, what I mean by that is you have to have a strong why or a strong internal reason as to why you want to achieve that goal. Um, are you losing weight to improve your confidence? Are you gaining muscle to um, to make you know be more confident in you know in school or different things like that? Or you know maybe even it's for a sport or something like that. You have to have a strong reason as to why you're trying to do it. It might be for your health, um, a lot of different reasons. So the first thing I recommend, guys, is you know find a strong why, and also too with that um, research what it takes to achieve that goal. You know what. You know, how, how long, you know, is a realistic time frame, you know, who can help you achieve those goals? You know, what kind of coaches are out there or, you know, people out there putting out free information for your specific goal? Um, the next thing, guys, um, another super, super, super easy thing that you can just start doing right now today. Um, drink a gallon of water a day. Um, that is a healthy thing, guys. It'll flush the toxins. It'll help keep you full longer. Um, it'll help keep your muscles and your joints lubricated, your organs, everything, guys. I recommend that you drink a gallon of water every single day. Um, that's just a simple, basic guideline. Obviously, um, if you need more water, you might need to tweak that up. Or if you need less, you might not need a full gallon, but a gallon is just a good guideline to go by. Um, guys, the next tip that I recommend is start tracking your macros. Um, what does that mean? Um, the macronutrients that are in your food um, basically are your fats, your proteins, and your carbs. Um, basically, guys, I want you guys to start looking at what you're eating. Um, when you go out to a, eat at a restaurant or something like that, you can try an app called MyFitnessPal. Um, go on MyFitnessPal and look up, you know, how much does this cheeseburger, you know, cost macro-wise? You know, how many calories is it? How many, you know, protein, fat, carbs is it? So you can start to get a picture of how much you're eating on average per day. And then honestly, guys, that is all, you know, for a beginner. Because the truth of the matter is once you understand that macros, you're not really a beginner anymore, so you're starting to move up. So the next step for beginners, guys, um, I recommend that you do cardio three to four times a week. Uh, my personal recommendation is fasted cardio for my own personal reasons, which I did post a video about that uh, not too long ago. I recommend you guys check that out. But it doesn't matter whether it's fasted or regular cardio. If you're doing your cardio, um, like I said, three to four times a week, anywhere in that 20 to 45 minute range. Um, I would say if your goal is to um, maintain or to build muscle, you should stay on the lower range of 20 minutes. And if your goal is to start to lose body fat or, you know, maybe, maybe you know, tone up a little bit, as people like to say, you know, maybe do 45 minutes around there. But uh, mostly just, you know, kind of getting into the into the routine of doing cardio, um, doing cardio, you know, multiple times a week. And not only is it good for your, you know, your fitness goals, but it's also good for your health goals, guys. It's so good for your heart. Um, it's good for a lot of different things, your lungs, you know, your cardio, your whole entire cardiovascular system, guys, um, obviously because it's called cardio. With that being said, guys, the final tip that I have for you guys is um, I want you guys to lift weights uh, between three and five days a week if you're a beginner. Um, if you're a beginner, you can do three days a week. Um, one thing that people like to do is push-pull legs or in a push session, you might do chest, you might do shoulders, you might do triceps. In a pull session, you might do biceps. You might do um, back, um, and then a leg session. Obviously, you'd be training your legs. If you do that like that, you can do you know three day week. You can do three days on, one day off, or you could do you know Monday, Wednesday, Friday, or however you like to do with that configuration. As long as you get those three days, and then as you get more you know experience and more advanced, you can kind of move up to four and then five days. But for beginner guys, I don't really recommend more than five because you need days outside of the gym to recover. So um, basically, guys, that is almost everything but I decided to go ahead and throw a bonus tip for you guys today um, the bonus tip is consistency guys um, if you're able to do all of these things every single day your fitness goals are gonna come easier and easier and easier to you almost to the point where you know you're achieving your goals just living your normal lifestyle I'm um, achieving the fitness lifestyles we like to call it um, so consistency guys um, yes doing all of these things are great but doing all these things you know for a, a long period of time are amazing that's what's gonna call us the greatest change so the biggest thing guys is what i can tell you is if you can do one or two of these things every single day for you know a few weeks that might be enough to cause a, you know a noticeable change in your life even if you can just do one or two of these things and then if if you can do one or two you can add in one more and now you're doing three of these things now you're doing four and once you're doing five guys you're making progress straight up because you 
have a goal in mind, and you know what you want to achieve, and you know what it takes to achieve that goal. You know, you're doing your cardio if you need to do cardio or however much you need to do. You're lifting your weight so you can build up that muscle. And now you're learning what you're eating, how you're eating, different things like that. And you're also drinking water so you're staying hydrated. And you're getting great workouts and great digestion every single day, guys. So thank you guys very much for watching this video. I hope that these tips are um, going to help you guys out in achieving your goals. Um, with that being said, guys, please be sure to like, subscribe, um, comment on the video. Um, tell me if you guys think these are good tips or if you have any other questions moving forward. Let's keep it going, guys. I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you.